everyone and welcome back to Tropical Marine Centre. Colette here. Today's video we're going to be taking you on a tour of the reef experience. I'm also going to be asking a few questions to the owner as well and the other staff members within this shop here. Um, so if you want to see all of that please stay tuned throughout this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let's get started. So first off they have an order so now it's packed it's time to get it onto the van and into the shop. Now I'm going to show you how they will unpack this order and get this ready for their coral table. Firstly, they get all of the bags out and into the water to bring them back up to temperature after a 2.5 hour journey to the shop. Then it's time to get them into a coral bath, cleaned off and then into the coral table they go. I am now going to show you this beautiful coral table that they have going along the center of the fish room at the back of the shop. They also have some amazing fish inside here too, so please enjoy. this up by starting the interview off with Howard the owner of the shop and Carl who helps run the shop. Throughout this video I will show you shots of the store to show you what they have to offer. So Howard, Carl, how did this shop start? Um, with a crazy idea, <laughs> <laughs> as these things do. Uh, yeah, I, I just I'd expanded as much as I could in the whole. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to have to move house yeah. or find somewhere to have my hobby, which is marine tanks. <laughs> so uh, Carl became available, so within a day we decided, let's build a shop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you do. <laughs> as you do. Yeah. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the artwork? So. Yeah, well, my dear job, that, that's what I am, I'm an illustrator. Right. So for the last 30 plus years, <laughs> I've just illustrated mainly animals. Mm -hmm. um, so I've always designed products which sell in zoos and bird gardens and aquariums and that's so it's all the jigsaws and the t-shirts in Disney and all that kind of thing. So I've always been around aquariums and fish and all kinds of wildlife. Yeah. Uh, I've bred birds for years, but I tend to take things serious when I get involved. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do things in halves, that no, basically. No, no, so I started with birds and then you want the challenge of breeding the ones that nobody else has bred. Ah, okay. And then publishing a magazine for 15 years and, <laughs> and then ended up traveling around the world talking about birds which was great so wow. uh, and that got me in with people from Australia New Zealand and film crews and so then it was safaris around Africa and <laughs> painting animals and, and it was nice because I get to the wild see the animals come home paint them sell them to the zoos and then when I go to exhibitions in America I just drive around all the zoos and the bird gardens <laughs> Call in the shops and see how things are going and meet the people. Oh, wow. um, you say this so blase as if it's nothing, but really yeah. that's incredible. It's like life everyone's so dream, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's absolutely. not a bad life because you end up getting in with the tag. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. It's, a, it's been a good life. And then, and then again, once I started travelling so much, birds kind of gave take back seat. Of course. So then I had a, a large collection of orchids. Okay. So it's how do you look after them while they're being swimming? <laughs> Variums and then poison dart frogs. Oh, wow. And I got a 12 foot vivarium and a 14 foot vivarium. Oh, my goodness. Obviously, spent too long in zoos, you see. Yeah. <laughs> so you needed a zoo at home. That's it, yeah, yeah. And then it just went on, and uh, I had to have an operation which meant I couldn't move around very well. Right. And uh, started with a little tank with shrimp in. Oh. And suddenly I did up nine landscape tanks. <laughs> <laughs> And went over the top again. Right. And this man, for his sins, persuaded us to get a, a marine tank. <laughs> and I must say, I broke all the rules, didn't I? Yeah. Set up a marine tank, 
and it just worked. And I thought this is so much easier than fresh water. Yeah, agreed. And that was it. I was hooked. So I ended up another got a five foot tank, and I guess the expense and then from there we've now got a shop. Now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to tell the viewers where about we are at the moment? Right, we're in northeast England, um, just south of Durham. Yeah. Just off the A1, so it's a perfect off route, isn't it? It is. When they come from north to the south, it's easy to find. Yeah. Um, so it's a perfect spot. Mm -hmm. it took some and what are your opening hours for anyone that's watching that wants to know? Um, 9 till 6 during the week, close on a Wednesday, right. and 9 till 4 Saturday Sunday. Perfect. Yeah. When did you open the shop? It was the 17th of December, exactly. <laughs> so about 14 weeks ago, yeah. It's crazy so it's... to say 14 weeks ago, because anyone that's seen any of this footage, the tanks look so matured. 14 weeks to say that. Yeah, because yeah, I played all the rooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make everything go past it. Well, it's the development went on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're pleased how things are working out. Yeah, and they all, they've all said they're in like different stages at different times as well, haven't they? So oh, some are hit the only stage straight away, some are took yeah. a couple of weeks, so there's been. There's always a nice time to look at, although one yeah. of them's going yeah. through the ugly stage, there's yeah. still some of the others are, yeah. have missed that stage or and it has been, yeah. There's been a case we're so busy setting everything else up. Yeah. Some of the tax didn't look perfect, but just to leave well alone, don't interfere. Yeah, and, as long as yeah. you can let it do its thing, that, it, it, it kind yeah. of gets through it itself, doesn't it? That's it, that's so fantastic. it's just been getting short the ground, hasn't it? It has. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with the progress. Oh no, yeah, it's perfect and I'm glad that I've been able to show this today. Um, so another question from the viewers is, um, can you order online at the moment? Not at the moment. Uh, we do have a big warehouse, which we still we wait for some maintenance and work in there yet. Yeah. And then we will have mail order later on in the year. Okay, brilliant. So it's something to watch out for for the viewers. We do have our website is pretty much up to date. Mm -hmm. um, everything that was installed is on the website. Brilliant. But it's, yeah, can't order of it yet. You yeah. can order for click and collect. Right. We, we, don't, we don't want to start. Right. We don't want to start until we're probably ready and no, of course. have a bad service. Yeah. No, well, the fact that you can click and collect though, that's still that's, that's still something. So yeah. um, you can actually click and collect. So just remember that. Um, the next question is, what can people expect to see in the shop? Kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> Experience because we wanted it to be an experience. Yeah. We didn't just want to be a shop where we push the numbers or anything like that. We're in a, a fortunate position where this is still really my hobby. Yeah. Yeah. So we can run the most beautiful fish shop you like, yeah, <laughs> which we're trying to do. So we're trying to make it so people can come in, they'll feel at home, feel welcome, they can sit here, have a tea and a coffee, chat. We can have groups here, we can have meetings here. Yeah. Um, here we've got all the different tanks in the different styles. Mm -hmm. So if there's a beginner starting off, we can establish where are they head. Yeah. There's so many people buy a small tank. Mm -hmm. I mean I've grown up in a couple of months. So true. Yeah. yeah. But some people just want a small tank. So if you can establish the parameters, yeah. and then we can advise what's the best tank, what's the best light, can you upscale, yeah. or can you move the same equipment to a larger tank. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're just trying to be what I would want. Yeah. If I was starting. You were to go yeah. into it, yeah. Yeah. And we're trying to put the touches on that to make it a bit more, I don't know, just homely. Yeah, well, yeah. one thing I will say is you've definitely been successful at delivering what you wanted because oh, it really you. is an experience when you walk in here. Yeah. Definitely isn't your standard fish shop that you would walk into. That's it, yeah. And yeah. you are getting the full experience. It's a dream, I think that's so bad, is it? With the beautiful <laughs> selfie from the pictures behind that's me. It, yeah. <laughs> so, um, next question is what would be your dream tank? I'm probably going to ask that question, you've already got the dream tanks um, here, but. Ooh, the dream one would be about 20 foot. <laughs> <laughs> Literally an aquarium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, I enjoy because being a designer, I'm. All the details and things. Yeah. And I, I, I've been diving, I've been on the Great Barrier Reef, and I've seen the different areas. But you can travel for miles, mm -hmm. and then you'll just see one large coral, and right. it'll be just full of life. Yeah. So the, the Nios tanks have kind of my take on it. Right. I've just done a basket of very simple corals, yeah. and just damsels, just all living amongst them. Yeah. So again, it looks an expensive tank, it looks a, a hard one, but it's 
DS, DSP, just very, very simple problems. Damsels, as simple as it, it could be a starter's cap. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it just shows like, that you designed it right, yeah. it could be like a million dollars. Yeah, no, it really does look a million dollars. I really like the way that you've, that you've created this scape and inside the, so I'll be showing this up on the screen while we're talking, but it's absolutely yeah. out of this world. Just picking the right damsels as well, obviously, they get a bad rap, don't they? But yeah. <laughs> if you look for colour, they're the most vibrant fish out there, they yeah. don't all get ridiculously big. No. So, and, like I said, they do, they do well in little communities. <laughs> Stay away from your typical stereotype cowfish and stuff, and that's it, yeah. have just a nice group of damsels in a tank. Yeah, no, totally. And if you go to it's done, isn't it? You know. Yeah. And if you go towards the chroma side, they just not as crazy. Yeah. You know, they, they settle down. Yeah, you've got back to the tall yeah. here, and your yeah, spring that's berries. It, yeah. That's it. They work. There's a few yeah. others, isn't it? Well, it definitely works lovely inside the tank itself. So yeah. you've done really well. And <laughs> um, so, what is the favourite part for you of being in the hobby and owning the? Experience. Um, just relaxing my cow does the work. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we, all, we all have our own bits, don't we? Like you say, you is. enjoy designing the display tanks, don't you? And that, that's the thing, is it's just whoever's good at something, that's your job. Get your niche. Yeah, get yeah. your niche. We all do what we could out, so we all can work independent and then we work great as a team. Yeah. And uh, just, you want somewhere where you come in and be proud. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to think, oh, I've got to go to work, but, no. you know, come in here. And just to meet people and, and oh. chat with people and get new ideas, because no two people do it the same. No, absolutely yeah. not. It's great to be able to, to go out and about and be able to hear everyone's different experiences. That's it, yeah. 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 This probably is a question for you, Carl. How many litres of marine do we have the end? Well, the fish, the fish only system is around 4,500 litres, I believe. Um, and then the coral trays uh, span about 23 foot and I think they work out about just under 2,000 litres. Right. In, that's including some volumes as well. Right, nice. Yeah. What's the volume of the dream tank? So the NIOS? So the, the NIOS is 220. 220. Not 202. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be precise. Okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> the, invert, the invert bay is around about 700 litres-ish. Oh, okay. Something like that, yeah. Um, so, so far, I know you've not been open that long, but is there any memorable stories that you have to tell from opening or from prior to opening that happened that things, disaster hit or? That's all for you, Carl. Uh, <laughs> so, on a Friday, don't bother coming because it'll be flooded. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be flooded. Yeah. Oh, guaranteed. Every Friday. Friday ritual, flood the shop. <laughs> Every Friday. What seems to be the thing that... Don't know, it just seems to happen on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so for you, it's so on Friday. No, I'm just joking, please do. Wear your wellies. You don't mind wearing your wellies, are Yeah, just wear your wellies. <laughs> well, well, most memorable okay. thing for me was the first day we got the keys. Just what seeing the size of these. Because this is just like a shop built inside the warehouse. Yeah. So the thing itself is like a sports hall. <laughs> and we're walking there and think, well, what a nerd have we done here? <laughs> wow, this is huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To think that you've got to imagine and design a shop within yeah. this massive warehouse. Because I remember seeing the photos of prior. Yeah, yeah. And then to see this inside, it's just. For a game, just enthusiasm. I kind of, I, I see in pictures, Yeah. so within the first year of having the building, I had this designed out that every detail worked out, wow. I knew exactly what was that, going That's on. amazing though, to have that imagination where you can literally design yeah. something from your head straight away from when you walk into something. I'm not sure I've got the same skills that there. <laughs> yeah, it's just, there's probably three of us built it ourselves over 12 weeks. Yeah, about 12 weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. My brother came in. Right. Plumber, which was very oh, happy. amazing! Yeah, yeah very happy. So that came in very happy. <laughs> so we've done it. We did well yeah, all the time. Yeah. We all together, didn't we? And then all the old ratty clothes and my shoes. My wife Loretta was trying to throw them out. I said, "Hang on a minute, we're about the next branch." <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, thank you very much for having me here today. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And yeah, I hope all the viewers have enjoyed having getting to see this experience, and hopefully they'll be able to come down to the reef experience and experience it themselves. I'd be able to see we're a friendly bunch. Yeah. Don't, no, take, don't take life are. too serious. No. <laughs> That's great. 
So to finish this tour off, I wanted to show you their sunroom. They run their systems with our Titan UV sterilizers and industrial heaters. They are also using our dosing containers to keep their alkalinity up in their tanks. Okay, so that's everything from me today at Tropical Marine Centre. Thank you to everyone that's watched this video right until the very end. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget that you can click the notification bell above to be reminded of our future videos as well. And if you haven't already, please go and click the subscribe button. We really appreciate any support there. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.